the eight best factory colors ever offered. In an age where 70% of the world's car colors are made up of white, black, gray, and silver, it's awesome to see that people are still buying cars whose exterior colors really stand out. With that in mind, here's our list of factory colors that we think are the best ever offered. Before we get started, we want to tell you about our final and truly awesome WTF1 competition, where the guys are giving away an incredible limited edition clock that's made using a gear ratio from Braun GP's championship winning car as driven by Jensen Button and Rubens Barrichello. To be in with a chance of winning, all you need to do is click the I in the top right corner, head over to WTF1 and hit that subscribe button. The lucky random winner will be announced in next week's video. Now, let's do this! Chevrolet Lime Rock Green Green doesn't get much love among car manufacturers, but in 2014, Chevrolet launched a new Lime Rock Green color for the C7 Corvette. It's a color that gave the C7 a sporty yet civilized look and also made it look like less of a midlife crisis purchase to something that a gentleman sports car driver would buy. Despite this, Torch Red was the most popular color in 2014, making up almost 20% of sales, leaving Lime Rock Green in the dust with only 4%. From 2015, Chevrolet discontinued Lime Rock Green, offering Sunrise Orange Metallic in its place. Dodge Plum Crazy Purple In contrast to Chevrolet's understated green, Dodge has a track record of throwing brilliantly odd colors onto its cars, and one of the best has always been Plum Crazy Purple. Introduced in 1970, it took the market by storm, and the purple finish is still a highly sought-after color for any classic Mopar car today. At the beginning of 2016, Dodge made the color available once again for its Charger and Challenger, which has pleased loud and proud fans. Aston Martin Racing Green Aston Martin is one of a few brands that offers a variety of greens. Some of them are incredibly bright, while others lean more towards the silver palette. And somewhere in the middle, you'll find Racing Green that strikes the perfect balance between the two. It's actually the same shade used by ProDrive's Le Mans winning Aston Martin Racing DBR9, and isn't a colour that screams for attention, rather lets you be naturally drawn to it. Which is appropriate for the Aston Martin mantra of subtlety and style. BMW Laguna Seca Blue These days, most BMWs you see rolling off the production line will be the usual hues of silver or black. However, that's not to say that BMW doesn't throw caution to the wind every now and then, and that's especially true when it comes to its very unsubtle M models. Of all the colors adorned on a BMW, one of the best is undoubtedly Laguna Seca Blue, a color first seen on the E46 M3 and Z3M. Its name comes from the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca circuit in California, a track that marked BMW Motorsport's second ever win, and the color is so bright in sunlight that it almost tips towards turquoise. Put it in the shade though, and it assumes a toned down blue that many might not bat an eye at, but to the enthusiast, it's the sign of a very special car. Ferrari Rosso Corsa Red This one might be a little too obvious, but that doesn't change the fact that it deserves to be on this list. Ferrari's Corsa Red, of which there are actually subtly different shades, has been a staple for the Prancing Horse brand since the company's birth, and is, to many people, the only colour that you should ever buy a Ferrari in. McLaren Acid Yellow McLaren's Acid Yellow for the P1 is a colour that brilliantly complements the hypercar's personality, like a massive yellow warning sticker that screams, SERIOUS DEATH OR INJURY! could occur when operating this vehicle. The outrageous color also helps to accentuate the P1's fascinating aesthetic, from its sculpted front end to its huge and menacing rear diffuser. Porsche Carrara White People buy a 911 because they want something other than a Ferrari and because they want people to know that they've done pretty well in life. So why would anyone choose theirs in white? The answer is pretty simple. And that's because you buy a model like the GT3 not as a car, but as a tool. A tool that propels you around the track faster than anything else with all the clinical urgency of a German-made supercar. It's this clean-cut approach that makes the GT3 so well-suited to Carrara White, a color that's also probably the most misspelled in history. Carrara White might not be the most exciting color for a car, but it's definitely the most appropriate in this case. TVR Chroma Flare Just like Porsche, TVR has history when it comes to matching a car's personality to a suitable paint job. And when we're talking about any TVR, the acronym actually stands for the founders name Trevor Wilkinson if you didn't already know, these paint colors were loud and daring to match the car's rear-wheel drive layout, lack of electronic aids, and unshackled big engines that were strapped into lightweight fiberglass bodies. That's where the much-loved chameleon colors came in, which flip shades as they're looked at in different angles of sunlight. Chroma Flare uses blue, purple, and orange and is one of those colors that will stick in your memory for life. 
What do you think are the best factory colours ever offered? Comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos like this and much, much more! I'm out of here! In today's episode, I'm joined by Gareth again, which means only one thing. We're going to be building the car to make it even faster and even better. We've got bucket seats, we've got harnesses, and in front of us, some new discs and some EBC yellow stuff pads.